The time is now. 10, 23 in St. Lucia. And I'm headed over to the Media Central office to go over some video footage. And I should be getting the master for the album tonight at around midnight. So, about to be on the move. Um, today was a very interesting day. If you didn't know, we're vlogging every day in October. I think I'm the only one vlogging every day in October. Anybody else that's vlogging, well, shout outs to you, man. Um, band rehearsal got cancelled again. Ain't no thing. Um, we set it up. So we have band rehearsal tomorrow at 2.30. That's Wednesday. Thursday at 2.30. We make some things happen. Um putting a lot into this video, putting a lot into this whole um, album album listening party that's on Sunday, so that's going to be crazy. Um, what else is up? Yeah, yesterday I was in Sufre. I showed you some of that, I didn't show you all of it. Um, I actually went to Jade Mountain to see my friend Elijah Jules. Um, we did a cooking class, we shot a scene for the music video. If you want to see what went down, then you could go to my Facebook page. Just search for Sherwin Dupes Bryce. You could like the page. You could be my friend on my personal page, and you can follow the live feed, and you will see us cooking up some stuff. Well, we actually cooked the national dish, so that happened. Um, more stuff happening. More stuff to come. How are you guys feeling tonight, man? What's popping? I know everybody's watching the vice presidential debate, or maybe nobody's watching it because everybody just cares about Donald Trump. I don't know what to say. Um, my fast is going good. It's going as good as it can go for somebody that's busy. Um, I gotta definitely plan better and make things happen with that. Um, but I'm staying healthy. I'm exercising every morning. I feel like I'm waking up. I'm part of that five o'clock in the morning club. So this studio session at midnight to go collect the files is gonna be interesting. But I'm happy to have it. Um, I'm grateful to be here. I read a blog today about writing your last letter, so I'm going to look into that. You guys should look into that, too. Um, the last letter concept is basically writing a letter to all your loved ones about how you really feel about them, if in case anything happens to you. It's kind of sad, but it's kind of cool, too, because when you watch the video, it's on YouTube. Just Google last letter from Stanford. Stanford. And uh, it's pretty cool how people leave their legacy and live their legacy through these letters and express themselves so yeah all in all it's about to be a good night um just keep doing your thing keep believing in yourself and keep pressing on five four three two